There's a problem that we see in class sometimes in trigonometry. I'm not going to do all of these parts, but I'll do a couple of them just so that you see how it works. So it says find an angle theta between 0 and 360 or 0 and 2 pi that has the same sine value as pi over 3. Well, let's do something from the standard circle, pi over 3, first. So if I'm going to do part A, in trigonometry, get used to drawing circles. I mean, that's really the whole idea is to use that unit circle to your benefit. Pi over 3 is up here, and because I've memorized my unit circle, I know that that has a ordered pair of 1 half square root of 3 over 2. So the sine of pi over 3, according to definition, is square root of 3 over 2. Now I'm trying to find one other angle measurement in here that has the exact same thing. Well, I know that everything that has the same reference angle will contain the ordered pair. That's this with just different signs, S-I-G-N's, signs like plus or minus. And I want the one that's going to have a positive y value. Well, of these three, these two have negative y values because of the quadrants they're in, and these two will have a positive y value. So over here, that's going to be minus 1 half square root of 3 over 2. So that means whatever angle that is is the angle I'm looking for. So what is that angle? Um, it's got a reference angle of pi over 3. So if I take pi minus pi over 3, that's going to give me my angle that I want. So that's going to be um, 3 pi over 3 minus pi over 3, which is 2 pi over 3. And now I know that sine of 2 pi over 3 is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So that's the angle, 2 pi over 3, that has the same sine value as pi over 3. Now I'll do a degree measure, 80 degrees, because that's not a standard one. And we don't know the ordered pairs the same way. So if I draw my circle again, 80 degrees is somewhere in this quadrant, pretty close to 90 degrees, but let's just pretend that that's 80 degrees. And I do know that the both the sine and cosine in this quadrant are positive. And I know that in this quadrant, the sine is also positive. So that's the quadrant angle that I'm looking for. My reference angle is 80 degrees. So I'm really looking for this angle right here, right there. So that angle right there is going to be 180 degrees, which is this whole rotation going back 80 degrees, so minus 80 degrees, which leaves me with 100 degrees. So I would say then that the sine of 80 degrees is the same as sine of 100 degrees. So again, the idea here is you look for the quadrant where the plus or minus is the same for either the cosine or sine. In this case, it's all the second one. And then you determine reference angle and just do some subtraction, and you've got it all figured out.